All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's JR. Welcome back to the driveway engineer. I'm back at the treasure place. Uh, real quick, right? Like, I'm gonna run over uh, how to choose an engine. That's a good choice. I would not worry about the cam bearings or any other bearings in that thing. I probably wouldn't take it at this point. It's been kind of raped if it's your first time around. If you're me and you have a bunch of shit, absolutely. Why not? Like, it ran well enough to smash the ever loving shit out of that truck. Um, this is an LQ9 here. Definitely a runner. Definitely a great candidate. It ran good enough to brain somebody. Um, you know, come on, just use your sense. Like, geez. I'm actually out here today to find a Super Duty, they supposedly set. Um, one, two, three, five, six. I don't know where the hell it's at. It's supposed to be in row seven, wherever that's at. Um, square body suburban. I think it's like a 89. Not, not new enough to have anything cool that you would want. There's a 2500 HD with a cool hood, even. What we got in here? Oh, stupid V10. No one fucking cares. Um, yeah, people love these hoods so that their stupid half ton can look muscular. I'm way off track right now. Uh, Super Duty, where the fuck is it? What's this, 350 Vortec? This is like legit the best small block ever, but nobody, nobody wants one because it's not a high nickel block. Here's another LQ9. Search point oh. It's funny if you like fucking get off YouTube and quit arguing with people on YouTube about how you can't find shit and actually go out into the world. You find shit. Bizarre. Um I don't know what I don't know what row I'm in. I don't know shit. The lamest version of F body. Those have uh, 3.4 liters. If you happen to have like an older Cherokee that uh, had a 2.8 or an older Blazer or S10 or whatever, that's a great upgrade. Those have what they call the metric bell housing pattern. It's smaller. Uh, GM's not as bad as Ford about changing bolt patterns for funsies, but they do do it. They also have the same bolt pattern as a North Star. Except one bolt, maybe, or maybe it's the same. Uh, but you can North Star swap one of those. Probably North Star swap one easier than you could LS swap it. Rows one through 36. Eight. That makes this seven. I think I've been bamboozled again. I'm gonna have to pause you guys and figure this out. All right, it appears I bamboozled myself. Um, we'll cruise through here real quick and see what we can see. I tend to stay in the truck section because I just pull truck engines and I don't really care about much else. But uh, other stuff has value and randomly there's trucks. I guess that, that goes to show you. If you ever wondered if an S10 is a real truck, the junkyard says no. Don't hang me, I'm just a messenger. Um, I actually had an S10 for a really long time and it was fine, but I bought it new. Braun, oh, this is one of those handy, capable vans. Braun ability. Buick Lacrosse. Here's a fun fact. Did you know that the Lacrosse is not called the Lacrosse in uh, Canada? Because Lacrosse is slang in French for masturbating. Now you know something you didn't know. I used to work with a guy who was kind of a tool, and he drove a lacrosse. And every time I saw it, I would think of that. It seemed apt. So, there's a something nobody wants on the ground. Do, 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 do. Malibu. Corsica. Man, everybody had one of these when I was a kid. All the moms. 
pretty nice seats in that. My mom had a celebrity wagon. Not that awesome. Where Subarus go to die. So far, Suzuki Aereo. Suzuki sold cars once upon a time, in case you forgot. It's weird. Oh, well, maybe that's a Dodge section. Maybe that's what's going on over there. And I say, as I see like a Jeep and a Charger and some shit over there. I must be in the import section. What we got here? Volvo Oak. Yaris. Uh, last time I was here, I talked to you guys about my found on the ground deal. And I actually have an engine I pulled out of the dumpster and another engine I picked up off the ground. And I'm kind of combining the two to make one. Um, it would be fun to find some little turbos to put on it. As you can do, duels are more forgiving of being wrong. Um, I just need to find something to find them on, pull them from. I still want a TDI. I don't know what I'm going to put it in. Don't ask. But, uh, ooh. Here's a fun fact that you may not know or care, and I don't think that this is the right one, but there are Jaguars that have Eaton M112 or 122 blowers that you could adapt to an LS engine or any other engine you wanted to, I guess, um, if you could find one. So, in the junkyard. I see them on eBay, and they're cheaper than the Ford ones. And I don't know if there's some, like, catch to it or what. Uh, so, I tend to refrain from messing with them. Also, there's such a thing as a BMW M57 straight six diesel engine. It's really badass. This isn't one of them. That other one wasn't one of them. I keep my eyes peeled for one of those as well. Because uh, I like diversity. But not like the government mandated kind. More like, a, I just like to try new shit kind. I bet the Juke has a turbo. I don't know. I'm just, you know, how are you going to Juke with no boost? The Eclipse. No turbski. Maybe it had one. Maybe that's why it's cut. Well, I guess if the juke had a turbo, we'll never know. <sighs> nice fans. It's probably fit in my Toyota. All right, I got to go get some lunch. Um, I'm going to wrap this up here. I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think. See you guys.